I think it was the right decision that, that they made. You know, I, we expected that, you know, on the sideline. And, and uh, I'll tell you what, I thought our kids, you know, it, it was a great way to find a way what your defense is going to do in that situation. And, you know, like the way they stood tall and, and made a play. You know, that's what I said tonight on the broadcast, Coach. A great defensive game tonight yeah. by both. Cuffcast got a solid defense. Yeah. Your defense stepped up. How about Hickey? 12 tackles oh, tonight. He, he continually filled. They ran a little jet sweep. And he just continually filled the alley and made plays. And, you know, real proud of the way our defense played. And, you know, offensively, um, you know, we had an unfortunate incident there with, with Legend. I think, you know, he, he's going to be out for a little while. And Kirk came in and, and uh, I thought managed the game well and did what it took to win the game. You know, we, we, we don't need – uh, to win by 100, we, we won by one, and we'll, we'll take the that, W. That's all that matters. Like that's Al right. Davis, you say, just win, baby. That's right. And, yeah, uh, I, I was I was impressed with with your coaching staff making the adjustments with with Kirk. You know, and especially at halftime, because the, even the defense, the defense came to play the whole night. Yeah. And, and they just made the difference. That last drive, they did score on yeah. the drive, but it took forever for yeah. them to score. Mm, yeah. Your defense was just hitting them and hitting them, and forcing were. them to make plays. You know, we unfortunately we gave up too many. Um, too many yards in field position on our kickoff team. We just they, they started on the 30 uh, three times tonight because of just poor coverage, and we've got to get that cleaned up. And you look at, you know, special teams and penalties. Mm -hmm. uh, just the penalties are, are drive killers for us or drive continuers when we're on defense. You know, we, we get, have them down a third and ten, and we make a, um, you know, just a silly foul that, that um, again, is, is – what we got to clean up, but we we is getting a great win. Very happy for our, for our football team. We needed that, uh, but we've got a lot of work to do. And those penalties you talk about, coach, those are correctable mistakes. They you can are. you can look at the film. You can tell your football team how they can correct that for the next game. So that's something they're, you. They're very correctable. This is three games now. They've got to start correcting them. Yes. I mean, no doubt they're correctable, right. but we we've, we've got to play a lot smarter. Okay, I got a question for you. We were going we're. we're going nuts up there. What was the penalty? What was that thing on the, on the well, kick? Well, they said that we batted the ball forward, illegal batting, and it went forward, which um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It looked like it went to the sideline from up yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was, um, you know, Andy knew the ball needed to be out of bounds and, you know, maintain possession, you know. Uh, can't fault him for that, but it's a learning point that, that you know, if we're going to bat it, I guess bat it backwards or, you know, let it go out of bounds if it's that close. But, yeah. Um, you know, again, those those are things we can learn from and help prepare us for, for uh, you know, moving forward. Yeah, Madison Central's up next Friday yeah. night. Over in Madison, uh, yeah. they lost their first game tonight to Bryan yeah, Station. What was that score? 50-20. Uh, 50-20, 50 to 20. 50 to 20 okay. So, uh, you'll have Madison Central next Friday, and we're going to have that game right here oh, on Night great. Vision as well. But, awesome. but Coach, uh, your defense, I can't say enough about uh, the way your defense stepped up tonight, holding, uh, holding them to 14 points. They battled. I, I was real proud of the way they played. We played a lot of guys, and they stepped up and made plays when we needed to make plays. And J.J. Jalen Jalen yeah. ran the ball now. Yeah, I tell he did. You, uh, he, he is a tremendous back, and I thought, you know, again, with our passing game limited with the, with the rain and with the injury, uh, you know, I thought Jalen came in just he, – he's, he's a really nice football player. There's a reason he was well. district player of the year last year, right? There There's is a reason. A reason. Well, there thank you, Coach. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next week. Hey, thanks, guys. That's Mark it. Perry. Thanks. Let's get uh, Jalen and uh, Hickey in here as well. Jalen Jones, let's look at this uh, – let's look at this uh, – Let's look at this uh, body of work here tonight. So we're going to come all the way back here and uh, talk to some of these uh, fine st uh, star players. Let's get uh, Jalen Jones in here. And Jalen, uh, tonight, uh, 26 carries, 155 yards. And basically, uh, especially that one run when you carried about half, half the Cuff Cat team that your sideline erupted on, uh, what was going through your mind after that run? Um, I just wanted to play my hardest for my teammates. This week we went to work. We knew we had a lot of things that we needed to work on, and every single time I touched the ball, I just was doing it for them. That was my motivation. How tough has it been on you? You broke the hand early in the preseason. You got the cast on it. I know as a great running back, you know, you got to feel comfortable holding that football. Are you getting back to that comfort level? Well, it was a hard thing to adjust to, but uh, I just got a certain mindset, and I was just – I wasn't going to let a broken hand uh, – let's say, uh, defer me and mess up the way I play. Right. I was going to run hard no matter what, every single play, and I was going to fight every single for every single yard no matter what for all my teammates. That's that's my motivation, every single play. What did you tell uh, Kirk when he came in there? Legend got the injury to the uh, collarbone. and what did you, I mean, listen, that 14 of 18 passing by Fago, 94 yards, and, of course, you, you cut in front of that Cuffcath guy. You were making sure he wasn't going to get the football, weren't you? <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, I just wanted Kirk to make sure that he knew that we were there with him and that he can do this, and he definitely did. He stepped up. He did what he needed to do, and uh, I couldn't be more proud of him. Um, I knew we could do it, and uh, 
we're just going to go to work and he's going to get better. We're all going to get better. Yes. I was really impressed uh, with your offensive line, too. Those big old guys, they come in there, and when they saw that your number one quarterback went out, <laughs> there wasn't any hesitation. They just opened the holes. They're blocking hard all the way down the field. Receivers are blocking down the field. It's nice to have that kind of backup, doesn't it? Definitely, definitely. There were holes everywhere. All I had to do <laughs> was all I had to do was just pace myself and then just hit the hole every single play. And the linemen, I couldn't thank them enough. They worked their butts off this game. Now, that's a good point. We talked about that up here. When you run that read play and that zone look, you know, it's, you're supposed to go slow and accelerate fast through the hole. And I think you've got, being an older yes. player, you've got that down pretty good. You kind of look for that hole, don't you? You have, to, you have to make sure you see your hole, and then once you see it, you have to make a decision, and you've got to hit it. You got to hit it harder than you ever hit anything in your life. Well, a great win tonight. I know it feels good to get the W. You guys got Madison Central next Friday, but you can uh, you know that you beat a, a real. I mean, Cub Cath is is a pretty good football team. They were team. extremely talented team. We yeah. knew we were coming into this game this week, preparing for them all week. But Jalen, congratulations! Our star of the game, 155 yards, two touchdowns tonight, and keep up. Well, okay, I'll shake your cast there. Thank you, young man. Thank you so much. And last but not least, I just want to wish my mom a happy early birthday. It's her oh, birthday tomorrow. Nice. I love you so much, mom. All right, great nice. job. Happy uh, birthday to mom out there. Let's get. Well, uh, let's bring the tough guy. In, yeah, let's right? bring the uh, the young man in here, uh, Andy Hickey. I tell you what. Uh, before this game tonight, uh, is there something about Andy Hickey that likes playing against uh, Kevin and Catholic? I mean, you were all over the field tonight. Uh, I just wanted to make a play this week. Um, we've been focusing on someone had to step up and make some plays these past couple games, and I felt, it, I felt it upon me to make those plays. I mean, I've never faced Cuff Cat before, but we prepared for him all week. I knew what I was coming into, and I just wanted to make a difference on the field. Twelve tackles tonight, Coach, and we called his name a ton of times tonight out there. We did. Twelve tackles, that's that's darn good for a high school football game. Absolutely. Really and also uh, the, the job you did, you know, covering people back there, you know, making sure but because there's a lot of uh, mm -hmm. crafty receivers out there for Cove yeah, I mean, they, they had four or five of them. They had, they had a lot of people and so they had some fresh legs and our, my coach just told me to get deep, get depth and come downhill and that's what I did and I was fortunate to make some plays. Now you came downhill real well too. You came downhill <laughs> real hard. We were really impressed with that. Uh, let me ask you this. When you prepare during the week for, for this team, it's hard to match in practice to match the kind of stuff, that speed and the kind of things that they mm -hmm. do. But I thought your whole football team, your whole defense did a great job. On that last drive, they did score on the drive, but I've mentioned before to, to Coach Perry and other people, that was a really good defensive uh, job because you mm -hmm. made them work for every Every, Every yard, yeah. And penalties hurt you a little bit. They did. Uh, our coaches were telling us, they said, we're going to have, we're going to be on the field one more time. we got to make a play. And as soon as they scored, I just said, who wants to make this play right here? It's not over. And fortunately, they went for two, and, we, and someone made a play, and that's what we wanted to see. Yeah, 12 tackles tonight. Uh, really a great uh, game for you, almost a, a career. But I know there's a lot of great games ahead of Andy Hickey because, uh, I mean, you're a quick guy. you got some speed. Uh, you don't mind the contact. You like I that. Love you love to hit. So, uh, and Madison Central's up uh, next Friday. Mm -hmm. I know you guys are going to get uh, right out of what, Monday, and get ready for yeah. the Indians over in Richmond then. Mm -hmm. next Friday. We'll have that game here on Night Vision. Yeah, they always give us a tough game, so we're, we're going to be ready this week. Congratulations, uh, Mr. Hickey. Great ball game. 12 tackles Super tonight job, for the young man, man uh, for uh, Lex Kath. And appreciate all our uh, guests. We'll take a break, come back, and wrap things up here from Joseph K. Ford Stadium, where tonight Lexington Catholic knocks off Cuff Cath 15 to 14.